Hello and welcome back to the farm. We are in April now and Okay, I thought those were weeds, but we might actually have some weeds here But this is the oats that we planted or sowed in the last episode and yeah, I do believe that these are weeds Let's have a quick look on the map here and go to Yeah, weeds. Yep we got wheat and all the fields. We need to take care of that ASAP today before they go to a later stage where our weeder will not be able to take them. So that is a job for today. We also, if we head into here and head into soybeans, uh, that is the wrong one. Soybeans, as you can see, we can sow soybeans now. Uh, so we need to sow them today as well. I just want to quickly make sure that our current equipment can actually handle soybeans yes it can have a soybean so that is perfect so we are all good there now before we continue i just want to cover this comment that i got in the last episode actually uh from david saying just a random idea organic produce is usually a lot more expensive than regular produce does the game understand the idea of organic unfortunately farming simulator does not have that differentiator at least here where i live some organic produce is more expensive while some is cheaper or the same which i find interesting but yeah that is true some uh organic produce is more expensive which that got me thinking and i have installed a mod and this will be the first time that we actually run a vote in this series if we go into construction i believe and now i just gotta find it here it is it is a mod that allows you to place down two different signs one is the i'm gonna butcher this word municipal subsidy which basically is the state or well in this case the municipal <laughs> You basically get a little bit of money per month um, for free, basically, for doing what you're doing on the farm. There's also a government subsidy, but that that's a lot per month. Uh, that would be a little bit cheating, but I'm considering maybe placing this down. It would give us $8,400 a month, roughly around $100,000 per year. And I don't know, would this be too much would it be cheating so yeah let me know i will have posted a poll uh, at the top of the description so please go and vote if we should uh, allow the use of this I, i'm not gonna use this but i'm thinking this one uh but yeah do vote down below but anyways in the last episode we also placed down this greenhouse right here and we have uh, i can see down in the corner there 231 liters of lettuce and in this one 333 so that is coming along very nicely first things first we gotta take care of the weeds unfortunately so we gotta pick up our weed over there and i will just before we do that though take a look at some contracts we got a cultivation contract in field 70. uh not sure where that okay that's that's big <laughs> <laughs> that's very big. I think that's too much for even the AI. Uh, field 69. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's one we could potentially put the... Uh, put the... Put a worker to while we do something else. Sewing. Field 58. Uh, where is field 58? Field 58. Hmm. That is doable. That is a pretty good contract right there. There's also field 30. Field 30 is down or up, sorry. Here, yeah, field 30. I think I'm gonna take that one. Uh, field 30, yep, borrow items. That would cost us 848, not bad. But first, we gotta take care of these weeds in our field. That contract isn't running anywhere. At least I don't think so. Um. Will it cost us extra for the leasing of his tractor and whatnot? I don't actually know. I will start off by setting a worker to do the field up there because that's the tricky that's the tricky field anyway, which I don't really like doing. <laughs> and I have decided I don't know if I set the wait a minute, do I have I don't think I have road crop tires on. That would be pretty bad. So we gotta go to the shop quickly get our road crop tires on. A little bit late for an indicator, but okay. <laughs> we gotta get road crop tires on. But yeah, 
I don't know if I said this is the last episode or not, but in the, but um, there's only two real things that I'm interested in buying: land and a tractor. But there is one more thing, and that is the next thing for our to-do list, or for our savings to go to, pretty much. And that is a silo. It will be key. I have decided for us to succeed that we can store our seed for the right time or for the right price. Um, because if we don't, then yeah, that's it. We gotta lose a lot of money if we don't do that. So getting thirty thousand dollars is going to be a pretty important milestone to hit before the harvest. So that is what we will be saving up for right now. So we gotta go to customize and uh, wheel setup standard, right? Wide tires, narrow tires. There we go. We have already. Uh, bought these tires once, so we can put them on for free. Very good service by this shop. <laughs> oh, didn't realize I was a detached from that. All right, and there is the... I forget, where is that field we're going to? Field 30, it is right next to us. So I'm going to set this tractor to work, like I said, in that field. And then we will come back here to the John Deere and set that to go in field 30. I think that is a plan. We have a quite busy day ahead of us today, actually. Usually we get started at around 9 a.m. Today, it is 8 a.m. And the forecast is actually saying cloudy. Hopefully it's not gonna rain. Um, I don't mind the rain, but I'm not sure if we can sow seeds in the rain. If we can, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Now we can drive on the crops without any issues. I should be able to anyway. If I can get this thing in straight, there we go. And halt. Hire worker. Get to work, buddy. And that should be working if we look at the map. Yep. Perfect. All right, we are then gonna jump over to the John Deere 7R, nice. And we gotta attach, what do we need to attach first here? <laughs> attach this. Wait, what goes on to what? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not quite sure what I need to equip first. Nothing can be attached to this, so I think I need to attach this first and then attach that to this. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, so I, the thing here goes in front. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Now, just like last time, we will be needing to buy the seeds. Um, what's it? That is seed. I'm gonna go with two again, I think. Yeah, two. There they are. Again, any other seed that any seed that is remaining we can use for ourselves. So not a big deal really. And fill it up. So they want soybeans, I believe they wanted. Uh yes, soybeans. And just to make sure that I yep, that's that green one. Switch to soybeans, there we go. Did it take both? No it didn't, not yet. There we go. Okay, it took half back. Not bad. All right, let's get on over to the field. I don't know how far the work has come. Oh, never mind, that is. <laughs> it has completed its task. It has indeed. Very, very good. That means we can set this to work. And then we can get back to our own field. And I do have a work light on. So, so far I'm trying to still calculate how much money we make from these things. So, so far we use $1,600 for the seed and then $850 to lease the machinery. Um, oh wait, I think, did we make, did we do this field last time? I'm not quite sure, but I do know I can't fit through there. 
that's for sure. Uh, right, down here I go. So yeah, in total we have used about $2,400 in this job. And now we need to remember how much we use on worker fees. Okay, switch to this, fold it out. Oh, wrong folding. Okay, so all I gotta do is enable a worker. And off it goes. Very cool. All right, and this field is of course done. Lovely. Which means I'm gonna go ahead and do the next field over here. We'll see how far we get. I am hoping... I am hoping to be able to get the soybeans in today. But even if we can't, that's fine. We still have next month to do that. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Alright. It's going to be difficult not to miss bits, which I'm in fact already doing. Oh dear, this is a horrible job. <laughs> uh, hmm. Live and learn, right? There are some jobs that are just easier done in third person, but I like to do things in first person because also the tractor is more quiet in here, but also it is more realistic. In real life you don't exactly have a drone that follows you that you can just look at the screen for. <laughs> so yeah, I like to do things first person, but third person can be cool as well. It is certainly easier in some jobs. It would also be easier if I could actually drive this thing properly. There we go. Alright, let's see. Am I in position now? I think I am. Right. I definitely don't want to miss any of these. Alrighty. So, I'm going to do this and I'll meet you when either the worker is done or we have done completed these two fields. We're missing this one, and then we still gotta do that one over there, but that one should only take a minute. So, I'll see you when it's done. All right, that is that done. There's a tiny strip in here and also one here. If I can see this one, I'll grab it. If I can't see it, well, then I can't really see it. <laughs> uh, right, that tiny difference doesn't really make, well, much of a difference. Yeah, I don't, I don't even see any weeds. I don't see any weeds. If I don't see it, it's fine. There we go. All right, that is the weeding then done. So far, after my calculations, we have used $2,700 in that uh, contract in field 30. I will be interested to see. Hmm. The vehicle doesn't show on my map in field 30. Well, I can see it here, so it's about a third of the way there. So that is not too bad at all. Right, let's pack this up. And we do have rain on the way as well. So that is something. I hope we can still seed, even though it's raining. I've tried that in real life, but then again, 
it wasn't with a machine, but it was a very muddy experience. Let me put it that way. Let's check the used machinery market. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Disc harrows are used for shallow conservation of fields. This thing is... It has a big working width. <laughs> 180 horsepower. What's our tractor? 125. Our tractor would most likely not be able to pull this. What's this? Uh, a cedar. Well, that's interesting. And then we also have the olive harvester. Wow. Okay. All of the. I would love to get this. But I don't think our tractor would be able to, to pull it. Unfortunately. It is at a great price, though. What would we be able to sell our current one for? Uh, current cultivator. If I were to sell it... Yeah, that would be 10,000. We would be able to have enough for it, but... It would put us, this, it would put us in a quite tight spot, which I'm not really happy about doing. We're already tight as it is. <laughs> so... Yeah, be sure to vote down below in that poll whether or not we should uh, place that sign down for... Uh, what's, what was it called again? I forget what's it called. I think I even butchered it as well. Uh, where is it? Generators. Right. Municipal subsidy. I think I'm saying that right. Vote down below in the poll if you think we should allow to have that. But anyways, I now need to put the last seed we have in this bag over here into the cedar. I'm gonna change it to soybeans right off the bat. Put that there. And because of the way I've put these things, I will have to equip this. Whoops. That was a bit jumpy. Let's see if I can equip this. I should be able to. Oh, I think I got it. Yep, I did indeed. Look at me go. <laughs> All right, let's add the seed to the cedar. If we can reach. Yep. I don't know how much is in the seed. Did we fill up the... I think we filled it up. Wow, we still have something left in the seed bag. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. There we go. I'm still learning to control this thing. I do have the Satec control panel, which has a joystick uh, meant to be operated for these things. So I might, next time, connect that and see if it makes my life easier. <laughs> because it might. And... Attach. Okay, you know what? I think that might actually be enough to do this field. We shall see. Let's head on over here. It's gonna be a pretty big job for this small of a cedar. Having something bigger would have been more ideal, but here we are. Okay, lower it, oh wait a minute, wrong button, <laughs> I want to go, I went, okay, there we go, I wanted to go into this view, right, we are seeding the soybeans, lovely, okay, I, I used to be able to see I used to be able to see the the worker on this map, I feel like, but apparently not. I'm assuming it's about halfway there now. Okay, that was the first go. I really did not go in a straight line here, wow. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think we will need to refill this cedar. Oh wait a minute, we didn't fill it up. And why did the bag not 
Hmm. I don't know why the bag didn't didn't just empty when there was space in this thing. I might have had a position wrong. There's another three hundred dollars, and if we look at the map, yeah, it's about halfway. So I think so far we have used three thousand dollars on this contract. So that is half of what we are gonna be given out of the six thousand. So, hmm, looks like on this specific one we're gonna get a little under than half. But still, I haven't had to do anything, and it's two thousand dollars. So. I'm not gonna complain. That is still pretty good. And we will need every bit of dollar we can get in order to get that silo because even though we are gonna be spending thirty thousand on it, it's it's gonna make us a lot more back because it will allow us to wait in order uh, for the price to be to be just right. That way we get the most out of our crop. So. I really think that is the highest priority at this point. We could take out another loan, but uh, we already have a, what is it, $200,000 loan or something like that. I really don't like having loans, so <laughs> we, gotta, gotta, we, we gotta get rid of that as f soon as we can. But this is also the highest, uh, hardest difficulty. If we didn't have that loan, we would have a lot more money to spend, but we don't, so... Yeah, I feel like that is pretty realistic. But anyways, I'm gonna keep seeding this field. It shouldn't take that long, to be honest. We'll see when the rain arrives. But I will see you when either I'm done here or the worker is done. And I think we might get done at about the same time. So I'll see you when this is finished. Alright, just about finished with this field. That wasn't too bad, the rain didn't come actually, and I'm just waiting for the worker message to show up that it is complete, because last time I checked... Oh, that is... Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, last time I checked, it was, um, well, almost there. So, I think that is probably around... What shall we say? 3300 to 3400, maybe? that we use on this contract, so we almost got half. Which honestly isn't that bad at all. Considering I haven't really done anything other than set it to work. So yeah, that's pretty good. And we actually managed to finish this field with, what is this gonna be, 34%? I think we gotta finish on 5%, you know. We didn't have to fill this thing back up, which is kind of surprising. But yet not, because it didn't take that much in the other fields. So there we go. I only managed, missed, um, I only managed to miss one bit over here, which might as well take it, since we are going back anyway. And done. 
Perfect. Now this time, before I return the machine for the contract, before I finish the contract, I will tap over to it and I will empty it <laughs> because I want my seat back. Um, and I will fill this up with whatever is left and turn off the engine. Let's switch over. And yeah, that's still a lot of seed. So I should be able to say I unload it. And then if I go here, contract, and then we can return this right here. Collect. Boom. Not bad at all. And then I can tap over to this one. Uh, I'm going to leave this here, I think, because I'm going to leave it here for now. And I'm going to have to attach this because I need to go ahead and pick up. Oops. I need to go ahead and pick up those seeds from that field. It's a pallet, so that'll be interesting. Oh, I don't need the lime with me, though. <laughs> All right. Let's head on over to the field. I forgot how close this this field is. Uh, no. Not here. I think it's going to be over here, actually. I'm going to reverse all the way over. Yeah, it's got to be in those bushes. <laughs> all right. And, yep, I see it. There it is. Wow, it really is in this bush, huh? And so am I, apparently. Okay. This is going to be near impossible to pick up if I don't head into this mode real quick. There we go. Picked up. Uh, kind of picked up. <laughs> Let me see if I could do that a little bit better. There we go, I think. Yep, that's better. We'll take this back over to the farm. I'll place it so I can use it in the future. And we still have half a bag as well over by the shop. Um, oh, hello. Sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> Carrying a bag of seeds here. Or a pallet. Is this a... What's a word between pallet and bag? Because this is a bag on a pallet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Alright, uh, actually, I think I could just... If I back up... I can place it right next to the cedar itself. How about that? Uh, but I don't want the cover to be open, though. Maybe if I just push this over. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna leave it there. Then I don't want the cover to be to be open. I'll place it by the tree. How about that? That'll work for now. There we go. Very good. All right. Let's take a quick look on the map to see if there's anything else the fields need. I don't think there will be. There we go. But we will have a look. Okay. So weeds are done with. Um, I can't see the fertilizer stage here. Maybe if I remove this. Yep. So this field has been mulched from the corn harvest. They both have stage one fertilizer because we uh, put all seed radish and cultivated it into the ground, which is perfect. Uh, plowing doesn't need to happen. None of them needs lime either. All of them needs rolling. I don't know if we would be able to do these fields with rolling. Let's take a look. How much would be a roller? I think it only adds like 2.5%, but that is still something. Let's just check this again. Oh, oh. Oh, we have had some new stuff added. A better or bigger trailer. 
which can hold a lot of stuff. Very useful. Very interesting stuff. Just not within our price range, which barely anything is. Uh, rollers, there they are. So these two are actually mods, and I've added all the mods that I use down below in the description if you're interested. Links to ModHub. Um, with a roller, you can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. Hmm. 6.4. How much would this be to lease? Huh. I don't know if it is worth it. This is only three meters. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna do it. Um Maybe another time, but I don't think for us we could roll that field, but I don't know how much we would get out of it. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I would really love to have some chickens on the farm. I love chickens. Um, and honestly, a pen like this is not, it's not too bad. We could afford this, but first of all, I want to prioritize the silo, but secondly, we would need to give them food. And I believe that the food, if we go in big bags, um, yeah, chicken food. Yeah, that's quite expensive. Not really something that we can afford at the moment. Um. So yeah, I don't think that is going to happen, unfortunately. The silo that I am interested in getting, though, is this one that we looked at in the last episode. I think that is fair. I think that's a fair enough price. I wouldn't go with this one, nor with this one. I think that's a little bit too too much storage for a too little price. Um, but yeah, I think this one is fair enough. Let me know if you disagree down below in the comments. But yeah, I think having this on the farm would be really beneficial i just have no idea where we would we would place it but i'm sure we would find out but guys i think that is everything that we have to do in this month so i think i'm going to call this episode right here i really hope you have enjoyed oops i forgot to turn the warning lights off or beacon lights really hope you have enjoyed this episode if you did please be sure to leave it a like and if you're new, consider subscribing and enabling those notifications so you don't miss out on another episode. And be sure to vote down below in the poll if we should add the municipal sub... Si, sub hmm. Hold on. Subsidy. <laughs> if we should add that to the farm, it would definitely improve our... Well... The money, it, it would definitely improve in the money department. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.